Before we dig into this problem, I want to review quickly what a price raise and a price cut means in terms of a multiplier effect. So if I have something that costs $100, okay, and I give it a price raise by 10%, most people could just do this in their head sort of intuitively. They would say, okay, if it raised by 10%, that means it raised by $10. And that turns into $110. Well, we need to just come up with some rules of algebra to make this a little easier. A raise of 10% is therefore the same as multiplying by 1.10. Okay, And a raise of 2% would be multiplying by 1.02. A cut of 10% is equal to multiplying by 0 0.90. Okay, if I cut the price of something by 10%, instead of 100, now it would be $90. So these are the multipliers that we've got to get comfortable with here when dealing with percentages. And if we want to phrase it another way, think about it like this. What this is really doing is saying times... 1 plus 0 0.10, there's my percentage, and this one is times 1 minus 0 0.10, okay? Now let's look at the actual problem we have here. It doesn't tell us the initial price, which might be confusing, but I'm just going to pick $1 as the initial price. You'll see it won't matter in the end. $1 is a nice easy thing to start with. So I take my initial price, and I multiply it by something that shows me cutting the price by 27%. So this is 1 minus... 0.27. That's a price cut of 27%. Okay, that's this one right here. And then I cut the price another 39% after that. Super sale. 1 minus 0.39. Okay, and then maybe the person making this stuff realizes that they're charging basically nothing. They need to raise prices again because they're losing money. So they raise the price by 32%. And what that is, is 1 plus 0 0.39. 3, 2 as a multiplier. So what do we get as a final answer? All this stuff multiplied together, we get 0 0.587796. If your number is not exactly the same as mine, did you round halfway through the problem? You shouldn't. You should never round until you're all the way at the end. When you're at the end of the problem, then you can round. So what is this as a percentage? This is like 58.7796%, okay? Which, if I'm rounding, is really 59%. So the price is 59% of the original. Now, here's one last trick to the problem. That may be the answer, but if you look at what they're asking, how does the final price compare to the initial price measured as a percentage change? That measured as a percentage change right there, okay, this thing, this measured as a percentage change, that's a really important phrase because I'm not going to say it's 59% of the original. That's, that's true, but that's not a percentage change. I'm going to say it lowered by, let's see, uh, 100 minus 59. Let's see, that's going to be uh, lowered by 41%. Okay. So 59%, here's what I'm trying to say. 59% of the original is one way of phrasing this. Or another way of phrasing it is lower by 41%. Those mean exactly the same thing. And that's what this problem is asking. It's saying, how much is it higher or lower by? In this case, it's lower by 41%.